The woman yields back. Reserve. The gentlewoman from Minnesota reserves. Mr. The Speaker, from Mr. Speaker from the gentlelady from Indiana began her remarks by talking about National Police Week, but the resolution doesn't honor our national police. Um, the, the Republicans made a conscious decision to remove the Capitol Police, um, FBI, ATF, CBP, U.S. Marshal Service, Federal Bureau of Prisons, the Federal Protective Service, and the Secret Service. I'm happy to yield to the uh, gentlelady from Indiana to help me understand why did the Republicans change the wording of their resolution? I'm, I'm, I'm happy to yield her any time. Again, I mean, the gentlelady from Minnesota says we're, talking, we're playing word games. No, we're not. The only people playing word games are my Republican friends. They introduced a bill that honored all of our police and then they changed it. They made a conscious decision to change it because I think they're afraid of, of, the extreme, of the extreme of their base that somehow um, don't want to admit that anything bad happened here on January 6th. And they're afraid if they honor the Capitol Police that somehow their extreme base would be offended. That's just sick, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, um, I'm gonna urge that we defeat the previous question. Um, and if we do, I will offer an amendment to the rule for consideration of a resolution which states that it is the House's responsibility to protect and preserve Social Security and Medicare for future generations and reject any cuts to these essential programs. Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent to insert the text of my amendment into the record along with any extraneous material immediately prior to the vote on the previous question. Without objection. Mr. Speaker, Social Security and Medicare are vital to many of our constituents' economic health security, and yet many of my Republican friends across the aisle have called for major cuts of these critical programs. So once again, I'm offering my friends the opportunity to reassure the American people, not just with rhetoric, but with their votes that they will not cut these vital programs. And to discuss our proposal, I yield, yield three